Hello friends, welcome to my channel uh, DevOps Buzz with Kirtan. Today we'll discuss how to permanently remove files from Git and rewrite your Git history. Uh, let's go through this uh, topic and I have just noted down all those steps and I will share these steps in the comment sections and uh, we'll, I'll give you the demo as well. You can go through the comment and you can cop, uh, you can uh, copy this uh, command and you can try in your system as well. So here uh, I'm trying to do it like uh, I'm creating a new branch. So if you already having one branch, then you can skip this uh, comment. Uh, then I'm going to create a file DevOps bots and this file I will commit it and then I will push into the repository and then i will try to delete or remove the history from the uh, github repository and then i will show you as you know uh, this delete is not permanent i mean uh, in as we are using the version control there is no deleting the files anytime you can retrieve it but here in the github repo i will show you the file the commit will not be displayed over there but again i will show you uh, where you can see the logs and all those things okay let's go to the terminal to do the practical things okay you can see it i have already a feature branch and uh, let's uh, create one file that's devops Bots. yes uh, let's check yes the file is created uh, i am adding uh, this file into the staging yes Git start Okay, the file is available in the stage now i am going to commit it commit hyphen m always i recommend give the correct commit comment so that in the future with the help of commit comment you will come to know what are the changes you happen right now i am just giving the update 5 the commit name commit details yes okay now i'm going to git push okay it is uh, trying to connect before that you have to clone all those things and then you can push it okay so you can see this is the commit and it is referring to this feature branch to this feature branch so this is this commit uh, this uh, this sub value is in your local git and this is is it's uh, mapped to this sub value in the github let's uh, go to the github repo and see see now you can see it uh, a minute ago it is commit is happened so you can see it here update 5 made by the kirtan sahu just now and uh, now we'll see whether that file is available or not we created a file that is called devops buzz a minute ago you can see it here okay so now what we'll do we'll going to uh, uh, what is the scenario for example like you made some changes and you added some secret uh, code or uh, uh, like uh, some uh, uh, password or all those things now you want to revert it so because the password and all the vulnerable things security related things should not be in your git it is recommended so we are going to revert it so how to revert it so what will do it first again i have mentioned all those things so we will write this command git reset soft and we are just going to change the pointer okay 
okay so now we'll see whether that file is uh, available in the staging or not if you'll see yes the file is available in the staging now it is not available in the commit earlier we had we had a commit command right so it, now i just shop i just change the pointer to the previous one so now we will go to push it git push if i push it then it will throw an error let's see what is the error yes it is the error is it's a rejected because it's a not a fast forward because earlier we we made a changes and after that we are just uh, changing the pointer so what it is recommending it is telling first pull the changes then you do the changes and after that the push it but our requirement is override that changes okay so what we'll do we'll do it git push force forcefully we'll push it okay we just uh, write git push hyphen hyphen force again you can see it it is just pushing all those changes see if you'll see it here previously a b f 3 4 2 f was there a b this one each replacing with the this one okay let's go to the this and we'll see see uh, earlier we had this one that devops bots now the file is moved out and we'll see the commit whether that commit is updated 5 was there earlier now updated 5 is moved out so in this way we can uh, uh, remove the history in our github repo yes but i'll show you one thing as i said earlier uh, as it is a, a i mean version control so everything will be there so see this commit we had right earlier this one this commit we had right let's check what is there i will check the log git log see you can see it right here a git log see I had a commit right on this update five all those things the commit informations will be there as i as i said earlier it is a version controls all changes will be captured with a snapshot so this commit id will be there but here you cannot see it it is overwritten so for external people you cannot see it okay so so that is removed from here it is not showing you in the github repository but still if you want you can get it from here as well because the commit is available so again i am telling you this is not the recommendation to do such type of things to deleting or to override the files but in case if you this is the simplest way to do like this this is basically in interview people will ask such type of questions but uh, in your real time do not do such things so, uh, which make a uh, which creates a problem of deleting the files which you you may not retrieve it in the future or your tracking system might fail thank you everyone for watching this channel